call to order <coughs> the Thursday, January 28th meeting of the Arlington Redevelopment Board, recorded by ACMI. First on our agenda this evening is a report and discussion on the Master Plan Implementation Committee on Residential Zoning Amendments. And we have Ted Fields and Laura Wiener here to present to us. Ted. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, as we discussed uh, at the last meeting, uh, the Master Plan Implementation Committee uh, has directed the staff of the Planning Department to uh, look at making um, some tweaks to the residential dimensional and density uh, zoning requirements. Uh, these uh, potential amendments are uh, summarized in your packet on the, uh, the sheet. Uh, we start off with some definition changes. Um, basically summarizing, um, or basically uh, the changing the definition of a basement uh, to define it as a story if it's more than three and a half feet above the finished grade instead of four and a half feet as it currently stands in the bylaw. Uh, similar, uh, make a similar change with sellers. Um, with attics, uh, we define um, an attic as a story if its ceiling height exceeds seven feet. Uh, story, uh, we uh, insert text, uh, making it a uh, height of seven feet or more is considered habitable in line with uh, the Massachusetts Building Code. Um, we revise the half story definition to mean uh, space in a roof where half the area is less than seven feet high <coughs> or less than or equal to seven feet high instead of seven feet three inches as it currently stands. We make a similar change in the text of the gross floor area definition, um, defining space in an attic that's over seven feet um, instead of seven feet three inches as applying to the gross floor area uh, calculation. Uh, in terms of open space requirements in R0, R1, and R2 zoning districts, we propose to increase <coughs> The minimum requirement for usable open space to be 40% of gross floor area, not 30% as it currently stands. And then finally, uh, we make uh, three revisions to the parking requirements. Uh, we recommend we uh, propose planting buffers on side yard paved driveways. Uh, we uh, introduce a maximum slope standard of 15% plus or minus on uh, driveways in R0 through R4 districts. And then uh, finally, um, so this is just a, a recent change since the last meeting, uh, we propose to allow two driveways of 10 feet width each, as well as one driveway of up to 20 feet of width in R0, R1, R2, and R3 zones. Uh, there's, there's one more uh, change since the last time we met, which was we had talked about including the basement, subsurface basements, and um, subsurface garages, rather, in gross floor area. But after discussing it with the um, building inspector, we kind of realized that that would affect commercial um, and mixed-use properties as well, anybody that has parking underneath, and um, we felt like that was something else that we didn't we didn't want to do. So that was sort of an unintended consequence. We hadn't realized that that was first proposed. So we were checking it out. <coughs> and also for the board's directions, we prepared amended drawings uh, for you to illustrate these changes. I don't have uh, large drawings of the uh, the two showing the effective two curve cuts on duplexes, but I have a smaller drawing that you can review uh, that I, I made up this afternoon. If you want to see that. So those are our proposed changes in a workshop. Take questions from the board first. Yes, Charlie Kalaskis from the Master Planning Implementation <coughs> Committee. Here. Mm -hmm. Do you have any comments or <coughs> recommendations on Ted's uh, presentation? Uh, no, I just want to reiterate that a lot of these um, recommendations, or at least looking at the zoning, was part of the master plan in the implementation table uh, because there were, were a lot of, uh, there was citizen concern 
about the the size, the massing of a lot of the uh, housing that's going in in, um, in small lots. And so one of the recommendations was to look at this in more detail. And if there are any comments from the other committee members who are here, um, Jill Barr, Ann Leroy, or Wendy Richter, um, they may have some comments on this. Jill. I, I would just say, reiterate what Charlie said, but also that I think, you know, we, in the discussions we had between the last time this was discussed at the ARB and tonight, we did look, we did, we listened to the comments that were made to the ARB. We uh, also looked at the proposal that had been made from a group of residents uh, and tried to, to take into account some of that feedback as much as we could while still sticking to or trying to be in the spirit of what we heard in developing the master plan and what's in the document. So we tried to sort of pull it all together uh, as well as taking uh, advantage of some of the resources from the staff to update things that, you know, were, were felt to be problematic from there. Wendy? I, I don't have a comment like that. And Anne, you. No comment, no further comment. Okay. Mike? Um, yeah, I guess it's uh, as much a process question as anything else. I, I think the information is great and uh, it's definitely uh, worthy of discussion, consideration, and the like. Um, our job here tonight, though, Mr. Chairman, I just want to make sure I understand it correctly, is for the submission of just Warren articles. Uh, you know, that this, you know, what we aren't looking, uh, you know, obviously the process is Warren articles go in, you know, we then work with staff on, on uh, um, potentially uh, recommended uh, votes um, that we, you know, discuss and have a hearing and everything else. So That's so, right. It, it, and it's, it, tonight's meeting is not to have a public hearing any discussion on proposed Warren articles will happen at a March 7th meeting. Uh, that includes articles from the Master Planning Implementation Committee, right. articles we intend to propose, and any articles that come before us from, from residents and uh, who've been signed off on the 10 registered voters. This is just to uh, <clears throat> continue and, I suppose, finalize some of the discussion that's gone on yeah. over the last several meetings. Yeah, and, and to make sure we get our placeholders in right. as far as the different discussion points that we want to have. Right, and so the discussion tonight and is to be able to craft proposed warrant articles yep. for submission. Okay. The, the way the two conversations intersect, though, is that the residential zoning article is very, very broad right now, and if we were able to kind of say, yeah, we're def we definitely think we're going to move forward with these, but we're not sure about these, we could, um, that we might be able to flesh that one out a little bit. You, and that's something staff would like to do, is go beyond what's in, I'm uh, looking at uh, for us right now. And they seem fairly specific, actually. <coughs> well, the residential one is the most, that's what we mentioned, one type of change. Okay. I, I think, you know, I think if the board is comfortable with it that way, then you can put it in there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I think my own view of Warren articles is to keep them broad so that if there are substitutes that people want to make or whatever else that they won't be too out of scope. Um, if that's the way that others want to go about it. I'm, I'm assuming that others will probably end up doing their own citizen um, uh, petitioned uh, articles if, they, if they'd like to do something different, but with respect to what's in here. So, um, so just kind of to that end, um, we've got the residential one which is uh, written right now fairly open. Um, so I guess the thought would be is that we could put our percentage or something like that in there if we wanted to talk about open space or, or something like that. Um, and my thoughts on that is, is, once again, I guess I just lean towards more of flexibility as we get into even more discussions and things and everything else. So um, that would be my comment on that. So I, I think I'm okay and don't have any other questions. Okay. Um, well, I think these that, uh, these changes that before us, I think it's pretty good. Um, I think it's taken into account of what we've heard so far. I like the fact that uh, we're looking at the second driveway. That's a, that's a good thing. Um, I think um, also understanding the consequence of including the um, parking garage. On the basement, yeah. 
and, and how that broad ramifications, I think that that's a very good thing. And uh, I, think, I think everything else was pretty simple that we all, well, at least I said we support before. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, I don't really have any comments on what's here. the area to be counted of the total house and therefore triggers more setback. Yes, it triggers more usable open space set aside. So the usable open space is a combination of, well, it's a usable open space, but it's also front yard. Well, no, it, it, what's happening is the, dr the maximum slope of the driveway is pushing the front of the house back. Oh, but is, is this an under... Yes, that's an, un that's an underground garage. That's oh. a basement garage. Because the basement can only come up three and a half feet, <coughs> so four and a half feet with the maximum slope. It's pushing out the driveway five feet in beyond the front setback. Is there one that doesn't have, that's the next one down that doesn't have the right. underground? Right, correct. That's the side yard drive. So in that one, what's shrinking it is purely the usable lot coverage? Yeah, the usable open space. The usable open space. Yes, the increase in the usable <coughs> open space required to be set aside. Which then pushes you up against the 25 foot. Yes, it pushes the back of the house back. But why is the usable open space always in the back? Well, in this case, uh, it doesn't have to be, but because you're uh, using part of the front yard as parking, you get more usable open space in the back. But you couldn't count any of the usable open space in the front? We check this with the building department, uh, the inspectional services department, and the way they interpret the usable open space definition right now, they just count one continuous block of usable open space. For I see. So you you're best so, serve to put it in one yes. block, which comes the back because you've got driveway. Right. In front. Correct. So just to keep reminding myself each time, this this, this isn't about. FAR. No. There's a secondary metric we're using <coughs> for each. Right. The effect. Yeah. It's about small changes which right. affect Correct. how big a house is, which right. then affects setbacks. Correct. Which limit, potentially limit the size of the house. Correct. Specifics of these plans will come at a future meeting. Mike, do you have anything further to say as far as the? No, I think. I, I, as I mentioned, I, I tend towards more general Warren articles, so I like it this way. But I'd certainly like to hear what the other board members, you know, think about that. I think, I think, you know, as as we listen to things, I always I always hate for things to be out of scope if, if they if they don't need to be. I think I agree as well. Um, I think there still is some work to be done. Um, and I think another public hearing is, is worthwhile on some of these actual proposed changes. But again, that's that's to come on March 7th when things are finalized and <coughs> to be held at a public hearing. So as far as uh, these particular warrant articles go, at least as far as the residential zoning changes, I think we, we're satisfied with what can, can go on. Can I 
Just for yeah, you. One more yeah, thing please. I want to hear, yes. hear your opinion on. So um, we have basically, we've separated out the parking changes, but other than the parking changes, um, we have all of the residential changes in one article right here. Um, we, could we could have more than one article and separate out the definitions, <coughs> the open space, and the, the parking is out, but the, we could separate it further or we could just do it as one. And um, what, what do you think the, uh, the advantage to separating it out would be? I mean, I think, I think when you tend to do that, I'll just give you once again my, my take is it, it makes the, it can make the town meeting uh, consideration a little choppy. Uh -huh. versus kind of dealing with it all all in one. Um, not that the moderator can't take a couple articles together or what have you, but um, I know in the past, like some, I, for instance, on, on when we were doing high school signage and stuff like that, when we were, not that anything ever came of it, but I think we did that all in one kind of, <coughs> uh, to see, in one article, uh, because even though it was taking bits and pieces to all sorts of different parts of the Bible. I guess the only thing I can think of is that the definition changes are tinkering, and the open space requirement change is a little bigger and could be a little more controversial. So we could lose all of it if we don't, if we, if we can't um, pass the useful open space change. On the other hand, maybe we want to have have the whole all or nothing. I um. Okay. I see what you're saying. So, so you're saying, essentially, have a Warren article talking about uh, to change the definitions of the bylaw and basically crib the exact same language that's in here. Mm -hmm. You could almost do that, right? Yeah. And then underneath it, you say to change the open space requirements of the bylaw, blah blah blah. You know, mm -hmm. to you've got to encourage responsible new residential development. Mm -hmm. You could, you could actually. But aren't you going to go through a potential adjustment to these as you define the actual? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. To town meeting? I, I mean, yeah. I think what what Laura's saying is is that the the definitions stand alone can stand on their own. I think so. Mm -hmm. And the open yeah. space yeah. can stand mm -hmm. on their own. Yeah. That might make some sense. I think that makes some sense. What about the parking? And the that's parking. already, the already, already separated. separated. That's, that's already separated. separated. Yeah, I, I, th I think I'd prefer for them to be separating <coughs> definitions open space and parking. I think if open space had its own park. I see what you're saying. To make one more article. And I think you're, yeah, and I think we can do it right here and right now. Bruce were here, he'd be able to <laughs> write it up more eloquently than. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, the, 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 the other thing is people get zoning fatigue if we have five of them. We we'll try to put well, them in the order of importance. That is true. But it is what it is. Right. It's it's trying to decide in January what it, April and May are going to look like. It's hard. And to, no. to be honest with you, with respect to that, um, oftentimes the moderator will put them together, in, oh. even though they'll have separate votes. Uh -huh. So you could debate them together mm -hmm. as far as fatigue is concerned. So, um, so, I, I can, so I think what we're talking about is making um, Article D now Article E and adding an article uh, and changing Article C to say to see if the town will vote to amend um, the definitions set forth in the zoning bylaw. To encourage responsible new residents, including the limited changes, in, uh, and then get rid of uh, including but not limited to. In D. So, I'm sorry, so in C. D. Oh, do you so put the definitions so D after will... the change? Uh, so I think what I was thinking about saying was zoning bylaw. Um, I'm even looking at the titles of zoning bylaw and residential zoning changes. 
C, C would be the definitions. Right, C would be the definitions. D would be the open space requirement. Correct. And E would be as it is. That's what D was. Right, so. <clears throat> so we're adding one. C could, be, C could really stand. C there. could stay alone. I see what you're saying. And you're adding Article D that says to see if the town will vote to amend the definitions of the zoning bylaw to encourage responsible new residential development, uh, mm -hmm. semicolon, or take any action related there. Would it be certain okay. definitions? Certain definitions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you don't, you don't think you have to call out all the definitions that you're going no. to change? No. Don't you? Because that'll be. But you want to start yeah, with yeah. the definitions and make that yeah. C. I would, I and then I would make D. D is, the, the, um, is what C is. Yeah, C is now D. Yeah, and then you add a C. E will be. Yeah. Parking. E will be parking. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't think it's necessary because you could do like an A and a B, but still, I think it's fine if. if, uh, if we're going to do that. I, I think one of the problems. Um, it's kind of strange that all three of those will have the same title to them. Uh -huh. um, yeah. It's almost it's almost like you want to say zoning bylaw amendment, residential zoning changes, dash definitions. Yes, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Dash definitions. Sorry, the second here. one is um, dash open space. Uh, well, we got an including but not limited to there, so I would just say because um, it could be something other than open space in the end. That's kind of the catch-all one. Mm -hmm. Well, right now it's not even, it's yeah. very specific. I mean, we really open space. You just, okay, down so open space. Okay, so let's do, let's do definitions um. for C. Oh, I'm sorry. So definitions for C, dash definitions, dash open space. Right, which will now be D. Which will now be D. And then E and then is just parking. Just parking. Well, as it is in zoning, well, yeah, there's a zoning changes, dash parking. Okay. Does that make sense? Well, open. Well, open. Sure. So, uh, are you keeping all under C and then going <coughs> dash definitions, dash open space, dash parking? They each have their own letter. So, C, D, and E. Right, exactly. Yeah. And so, we're adding a C. They're all, they're all the same preface. So, C is zoning by law amendment of the residential changes. Exact same thing. Dash. dash oh, just changing the definitions. Oh, just changing the title. Okay, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, that's, okay. just, that's just the title. Because I thought it, 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 it's kind of weird that they all have the same definition. Yeah. I mean, have the same title. They need a better nickname. Exactly. We're all going to get. Okay. Okay. So, and then this article C will be almost the exact same, but it will say to see if the town will vote to amend the def certain definitions um, in the zoning bylaw to encourage responsible new residential development for all yeah. applicable residential districts. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when the warrant comes out, there'll be numbers one to five or five to ten. Yeah. But I gave them letters so we wouldn't get confused exactly. with that. Okay. We don't know what the numbers will be. Got it. Okay. So do you have enough? Mm -hmm. uh, for the for the minutes and to, to record it. Yes. So. Yeah. Uh, I'll move to approve um, the uh, request of the redevelopment board to insert five articles A through E. Well, actually, before we vote, should we review A and B? Oh yeah. <laughs> Fine. yeah. <laughs> Article A is in. Is it possible to get a copy of what you're looking at? Because yeah, we just have the here. definition. It's right here. Uh, it's, 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 yeah. it's here. There's plenty of copies right here. Yeah. 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 We can't really do that. My arm's online. Mm -hmm. Article A is zoning bylaw amendment for mixed use <coughs> industrial zones <coughs> to see if the town will vote to amend the zoning bylaw to revitalize business and industrial zoning districts by altering and expanding definitions to include mixed use and to include new industries and allow mixed use in all business and industrial zones and to further modify the national regulations for mixed use development for B2, B2A, B3, <coughs> B4, B5 industrial districts or take any real action related there to the underlying Articles for the underlying uh, 
ideas here will be presented Monday night at our meeting, which will be held in the Senior Center. That's right. And on the ground floor of the We will have an in-depth discussion of those right. and presentations yes. at that point for our meeting. Right. Okay. We are time constrained to have these in by tomorrow. Mm. Is sufficiently yeah. vague, <laughs> exactly. not broad, <clears throat> to to give us some wiggle room, depending on what happens. The basics, anyway. Monday. Yeah. yeah. Again, further tinkering of the actual articles can happen after the fact, up until the public hearing on March seventh. Yeah, uh, I'm okay with Article A. Article B is a zoning bylaw amendment for parking in business, industrial, multifamily, residential zones uh, to see if the town will vote to amend the zoning bylaw to facilitate and incentivize development by allowing a reduction of parking requirements in R5, R6, business and industrial zones by special permit where accompanied by an accepted plan to manage transportation demand to be defined in the bylaw as transportation demand management or take any action related thereto. So... A and B. So, is is this the just just so I can make sure that uh, I don't want to get into the details of, mm -hmm. of any staff recommendations or anything else? I'm just trying to figure out is this. Do we think A is sufficiently broad to deal with mixed use parking and the changing of that parking, or is that what this one is supposed to do? And why is it only R five and R six then? It's in multifamily residential and and commercial only. It's not meant to deal with oh business and parking. industrial. Okay, business and industrial zones. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's um the intent is that it should be on the commercial corridors, not in the neighborhoods. <clears throat> gotcha, 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 gotcha. Where there's transit. It's one of the reasons why the commercial corridors work better for reducing the parking. So just purely from a consistency perspective, so you didn't go with the same language above with respect to business and industrial zones, but actually laid out B2, 3, B5? Reducing all business and industrial zones and further to modify dimensional regulations for mixed use development. Uh, is that just because B1 isn't in there? Yeah, do we want to make sure that B1 wasn't touched? Or? And the other thing I guess I'd say is, is you say zones in the first and you say districts in the second. Should they both be That's zones? easy to fix. Yeah, I think okay. they both should be zones. Um, yeah. Should we, can we say business and industrial zones? I think it's yeah. fine. Okay, I, I, I think just from a consistency yeah. say, because yeah. I look at that, I see them all, and that's why I actually didn't notice it said yeah. down below business and industrial zones. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I was looking for the actual zone. So, yeah. so I, I the think the changes for the B one are the minimal. I, and I, I, I think that makes a ton of sense. Yeah. So, so yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying to scoop it in. I just, uh, I'm doing it from a pure consistency right. standpoint. And because it's, it reads better. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. So, and so that would, so, so, so changing A to now say. Um, mixed use development in the business and industrial zones. Right? Yeah, at the bottom there, right? We're talking about the last two lines. Yeah, right here. Business and industrial zones. And then you right here. Or and then you go and you list them, B2 is that where you goes? No, down here. So we change the this to we'll just say business. Oh you won't and industrial. You won't and you won't put all those. Right. Okay, got it. And then in this one we're not on the second one, are we? Are we on the second one? Yeah, you can. Yeah, he was trying to um, correlate them, right? We were trying to match the languages. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we um, called out R5 and R6 because there was an R4, which is, you know. Yeah, no, that's fine. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, no problem with that. But this one gets all the districts. 
taken out, but this one remains. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so with those changes. Okay. Let's go from Andy. Yes. Okay. I'll entertain a motion. All right. I'll uh, move to approve articles A through E as a request of the redevelopment board to the selectmen to include in the warrant. In the uh, in the warrant. As amended. As amended. Thank you. Yeah. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Again, a deeper discussion of the mixed use uh, amendments will take place Monday night in the senior center. Be meeting again at that point. Which is appropriate time to move on to our next agenda item, which is a schedule of our upcoming meetings. So I um, can't do. a meeting Monday for next year. The remaining meetings in February, we have not, we, you know, we have, don't have an agenda yet. We may want to have one more. I, I don't know if, if you can project right now whether we want to schedule another meeting for the Port Residential before we get to the March, 5th, March 7th public hearing. Um, and I, I think we can't decide about the mixed use until we see what happens Monday. But um, since I think a lot of people here are interested in the residential, and a bunch of people just left who are interested in the residential, <coughs> do we want to schedule another meeting or not? I, it's your I'm sorry. Call. Can you just go through the schedule? So, so obviously the first that's that's easy. To, we've already stated that's for to talk about mixed use. Um, and then, or, so you've got eight in the 22nd just as uh, placeholders? <coughs> those, those are scheduled to run the calendar. For we have the room, but we haven't, for all we the, don't have an agenda. For all the items, or just, are you trying to tick off different um, I'm assuming articles. it'll be mostly warrant articles. Yeah, but, which, but here you're just doing mixed use, right. and the other ones you're not designating. That's right. It's right. all of them. And That's right. Do we know whether there are any special permits? There's other major issues. Right so in, in Monday's meeting, just mixed use, not parking. And parking, yes. Okay. Mixed use okay. So we've covered. Not the residential parking. Not residential parking. No, I get, I get it. We've done the residential. We've done the residential. These are the mixed use. Okay. Yeah. So these are A and B, and we've done C, D. I guess I, I feel like. And then we later we review them all. Well, on March seventh is the public hearing. Right. So. Yeah. I'm going to have to uh, trouble on February 22nd, probably, because that's the CPA. That's the day the CPA um, receives all the projects, and I think we've got a meeting that night to discuss them. So frankly, I'm probably not going to want to miss that. So okay. I might have, I need to take a look and I can confirm with you, but but I think that one might be, that might be mm -hmm. in between the two. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe you, I, I, maybe you feel ready to go with what we have, and then, then you could just. Well, we have a public hearing. Right. We do have a public hearing. Yeah, so that that really is the time for broad discussion of what's out there, unless there are any further changes. Well, is the, the thought FDIC. is the thought that um, okay, yeah, I guess I guess one more talk amongst the board about the red line changes, mm -hmm. you know, or the recommended of staff, you know, before sure. we go into that hearing so that we maybe we're as familiar as possible with it okay. as, as questions come up. Yeah. Might not be the worst thing on both. I mean, maybe the 8th or the 29th could be. Either the 29th, I think. Could be a meeting and we could just kind of run through with staff's recommendations. <coughs> I mean, of, of course, once again, we have a hearing and then uh, I don't think our expectation is probably to vote that night. On no, we won't hearing. vote until the following meeting. The following meeting, which we can still discuss, right, and and consider. So, but I, it does seem like if if there's going to be some type of um, straw man out there, you know, as the mm -hmm. potential um, changes for that public hearing for people to react to, right. Are there, is there an MPIC meeting in there somewhere? That Not scheduled, but we can 
Uh, we had said that we would schedule one after you guys decided your schedule, especially on the mixed use, that they would make how, a recommendation. How, big, how extensive is the mixed use uh, changes? Um, uh, uh, there's a, a lot. Uh, there's a lot of definitions that are added because there's some. Um, first of all, mixed use isn't defined. Mm -hmm. Then also, we're adding some new industries, some sort of artisanal type fabrication. things, fabrication, right? Um, then there's we're <coughs> allowing more uh, um, FAR, increasing mm -hmm. the FAR that's allowed. And um, in some cases, increasing the number of stories, but not in every zone. And then, um, then there's the parking, which are. Right. The key thing is, it's not huge. We're yeah. increasing the FAR mainly for parcels that are 20,000 square feet or less, right. not for large, large parcels. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I, th I think we'll need at least one more meeting mm -hmm. to discuss mm -hmm. the outcome of Monday's meeting, but then any potential uh, <coughs> further residential thoughts we might have, either as changes are made or we have a chance to digest things a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, there are people who have, well, those people that just left <laughs> came because they had something to say, I think. Yeah. So it's better to know before the hearing, I think, than to have it all come out of the hearing. Well, or, or, well maybe it's nothing new that we haven't let's heard Let's schedule well, all four. Okay. We never know. <laughs> but yeah. isn't that what the hearing's for? Yes. That's, oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's. Yes. Yeah. And you don't me, have to. You don't have to decide at the hearing. You don't no. decide till two weeks after. Yeah. That. Right. Oh no, that's that's. So. I I think oftentimes we have a. For me, that is the time for everyone to come mm -hmm. forward and, and speak their piece. Uh, speak their piece, because I mean, because because the other part of that too is everyone gets to hear everyone else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At mm -hmm. the same time, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. which I think is. Mm -hmm. um, so what do we want, and I'll take the board's input on this, so we want to have a meeting on the 29th to do a final refresher on some of the changes coming in before we have a hearing on anything. I always wanted my birthday to be on the 29th of February. <laughs> really, it's a bonus day. It wouldn't have been every, every four years you just have a crazy party. We can hold it in reserve. Everybody put it in your schedule, and if we okay. need it, we'll do it. Let's do that. And I'm sorry, are we meeting on the 8th then, too? Only if you decide on the 1st that you want to. Uh, so, let's hold it, and then we can decide. So both the 8th and the 29th are holding? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, but we won't meet on the 22nd. I, if, feel free. I just think I'm going to be stretched on the other one. No, so. we'll, we'll not meet on the 22nd. We'll hold both the 8th and the 29th. Okay. The idea that we'll only need to meet on one of those. But we'll see. Yeah. We, well, we can have this discussion again on Monday. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, correspondence. Uh, we had the the letter to the zoning board of appeals from that Andrew uh, from Andrew um, commenting on 20 Westminster. So that was just a summary of our meeting discussion. Um, there was a letter from Mark Lessis, of a broker who had contacted me after the um, the last meeting. He had heard about the meeting but wasn't able to come, and he wasn't able to come tonight. So I suggested that he write you a letter, which he did. And then, uh, and that's all for the correspondence. Okay. <coughs> Noted. Uh, I think we just got the minutes, January 11th. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I emailed them to you, but if you're not ready, we can do that on, on Monday. Well, I, I, have, I haven't read it yet. Okay. Okay. We Why won't we have, have until Monday? We won't have tonight's minutes ready for So we'll do Monday, the 11th so. Monday night. Do you need me to send them again? They're in this package. No, I know. No, they're, 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 they're fine. In front right. of me. And I wasn't here. It was fine. So, okay. uh, any new business, other business that it discussed? Nothing here. Okay. Thank you. Good meeting to you. All right. I'll, um, <laughs> we all set them? I'll move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thanks.